Here he comes, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, the conqueror of WWE. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, Brock. At one point, dubbed the next big thing here in WWE. Domination has always been Lesnar's stock and trade. He won the WWE Championship within six months of his WWE debut, and somehow, he's only become even more dominant over the years. The King of Kings stands before this man. Can this man stand up to one of the all-time greats? I don't know if he's got what it takes. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. And his opponent representing Evolution from British Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From D-Generation X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. And there's only one rule in a no-holds-barred match. Pinfalls or submissions have to happen in the ring. Apart from that, this match is anything goes. I have to admit, I'm a sucker for the traditional pinfall submission rules, but in a no-holds-barred match, tradition flies right out the window. Big-time clothesline. Good grief. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Brock with the quick wherewithal. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, he's searching for something. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Oh, targeting the arm. This is... He is looking to do some serious harm. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Finds the advantage after a... Oh, bear hugs. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. 
will get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Big time close. He can end it here. And Brock Lesnar manages to power out at two and a half. He got close there. It could be do or die time. And there was some force on that move. There he goes, right into the corner. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. He's starting to struggle here. The Beast certainly looked to be off the leash there. Ah, there's a running knee a la Harley Race. And he's able to counter. Ah, Triple H counters. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Unmitigated demonstration of power. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Thunderous power slam. Just a smidge quicker. Heading back to the ring. Saving us from having to sit through that. Oh, oh saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Planning on what to do next. Oh, God, face first. And Lesnar got met with resistance there. Triple H isn't messing around. The King of Kings is out to do damage. My God, enough. Shoulders down. Only a one count before the kick out. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Look at this, just unloading. Nasty stop to finish it off. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. Oh, Brock Lesnar and Ricky Young. Oh, no, Brock's got the Kamora. The official asking him as he, he doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. Oh, running ST. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? gets the win in an impressive fashion. Here is your winner, Brock. What a legendary battle between two legendary men. And the legend is, eat, sleep, conquer the game.